Welcome to the first bonus part of Freedom Planet. Here we'll be playing as Carol in her unique stage. Carol acts quite a bit differently from Lilac. She can climb on walls, she has more clawing based attacks, and she has a dash that leads into a claw. She can roll, and she also has a kick which doesn't take the full meter when you do it. So you want to use it wisely. But you can also use it more sparingly than say the Dragon Boost. This stage is a has a lot of traps, like these laser traps, of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be called Trap Hideout if there weren't traps. They have phases where they'll be in and out. Some of them can be tricky to get past, but when you know how to use Carol more, it comes naturally. Now, every action Carol does, like the dash, the roll, or something, makes her um, uh, claw attack stronger. It makes it into the wild claw move. You want to keep this in mind for bosses and the like. Because, well, yeah, um, Carol herself doesn't do all that much damage individually unless you really know how to utilize her. Although she can skip quite a few good sections because of her wall clinging ability. See, if you were a lilac, you would. <laughs> if you fell, it would be kind of awkward to get above if you really wanted all those crystals and stuff. This mini boss is pretty easy to take out. You just had to follow him for a little bit. So, guys, did you enjoy Freedom, the main run of Freedom Planet? I know I did, but um, I probably could have done commentary quite a bit better. I actually been thinking that Freedom Planet should have been more of a live commentary, but hey, post commentary practice is always good. Those bats always go down one hit. These boxes are kind of annoying. Try to keep up with his speed so you don't get caught by the laser, and yeah, you shouldn't get hit. Now you have all these crystals you can get. That's part of why I said Carol is better against- I think, personally, I prefer using Carol against bosses, because she can be more in their face more often. And she has more invincibility frames than Lilac, although Lilac does more damage quicker if you're really good. I don't find myself using her roll move that much because while it does work kind of like Sonic 1's um, uh, roll, it doesn't hit too well and it doesn't like carry momentum as well as in Sonic. So I don't find much use for it, but it is kind of handy and I do kind of do it out of habit because I'm a Sonic player at heart. Now, when Carol has the motorcycle, she can drive up walls. All those, um, uh, yeah, all those, um, gas containers you saw during Lilac's run, yeah, these were all for Carol. She also, um, is a lot faster, and on the ground her, um, uh, her special move becomes a boost, which can be kind of awkward if you're trying to do the kick, because you sometimes want to do the kick and then you'll accidentally boost instead into enemies like that. It's kind of annoying. Also, I really like the look of this level. Then again, I really like the Sakura Trees look and feel that they go for here. Even though it's the more Chinese-oriented stuff. This stage is fairly long, but I don't find myself, like, finding it particularly difficult. It's perfect to showcase Carol's abilities, much like how Pangu Lagoon shows off from Lilacs. Also, we actually might get to see the panels in action, because when they're lit up, Carol can jump on them. And as I mentioned in Dragon Valley, yeah, that's what they do. They boost you to the next one. Now this, this um, uh, mini boss is actually really easy and I make it look really hard. Um, 
all the times that the crystals are like in the ground, and this attack actually doesn't do anything really. You can actually be attacking him this entire time, and I don't take advantage of it. It wasn't until after this recording that I realized that, I'm like, wow, I'm so dumb. But hey, what are you gonna do? Past is the past. You get to see me fail a bit at it. Isn't that always fun to see somebody fail at something? But yeah, his pattern is fairly easy to read. Just be aware when the crystals glow and yeah, dodge the attacks to whatever direction. Like, the roll does carry momentum, but what I should be saying is it doesn't carry momentum into, like, as much of a jump as you would get in Sonic. Maybe I'm just too used to Sonic when I, when I play Carol. Then again, when I play Carol, I think of her as kind of a weird mix between, um, Knuckles and Zero from Mega Man X. I don't know, that's just how the playstyle feels to me. Of course, she wants to be cool like Cloud Stripe, so she drives a motorcycle. Kidding on that part, but hey, I just got Cloud and Smash yesterday, so it's on the mind. These electric guys are so annoying. Also, I'm not too sure what de what depends on the um, motorcycle getting destroyed. If it itself gets hit or if Carol gets hit too many times, I have actually never done the research into that. And I never actually looked into it, like myself, like counting hits or something. I do like the double jump it gives. It is really, really handy. Because Carol lacks a double jump otherwise. She does not have the advantage of Cyclone. Now in this segment, you have to defeat 99 enemies and... It's pretty crazy, so you want to use the panels on the ground to your advantage, use your invincibility frames. You're going to get hit quite a bit though, probably, because they're throwing ninja stars at you all over the place. It's, just, it's like I entered a Dynasty Warriors game. I might do one of those down the road. I really like the Dynasty Warriors series. I was actually thinking of maybe doing Devil May Cry sometime too. But with defeating them all, um, you get one rematch with Spade here. And he acts pretty much the same as he did in um, Sky Battalion, including going through walls. As of today, I do not think the Torque DLC is out. I'm pretty sure I checked today, but I'll be checking later. Whenever that comes out, though, you'll see a run, a blind run probably. Hey, use the panels to your advantage, use your invincibility to your advantage. Spade, pretty much the same fight, except I think he may take a few more hits. But overall, he's not too bad. And with that, that was Trap Hideout. Stay tuned for the next bonus part next Wednesday.